final time tonight. Let's turn to our panel and let's talk about the Democratic race in Virginia. I think we all kind of looked at Virginia as a bellwether what went on there. Amazing numbers if you look inside these exit polls. First of all, white men. Barack Obama winning by 14 points among white, women, among white men. Hillary did win among white women. Um, among whites overall, Barack Obama won 50% to her 49%. Of course, he won nine out of 10 blacks. Is, does this suggest he is gaining, making inroads into her constituency and benefiting from John Edwards being out of the race? Um, I think I think both things. I think yeah. it, it, it's got to be heartening news. Um, these have, have to be heartening figures for the uh, for Obama. the Obama campaign because uh, these are the groups that we kept saying they were weak in and yeah. that, that he didn't seem to be appealing to. Uh, and uh, the, you know that number for white men is uh, you know is 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 mm -hmm. encouraging from his point of view. I was also says, says, yeah. We saw Louisiana where he didn't anything didn't do anything like this. What it means is. As you move out of Dixie and move from across uh, through Fredericksburg, and you hit Northern Virginia, that 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 thing that obtained in South Carolina is gone. You move into North Virginia, and he is getting white voters in Northern Virginia. And once you move across the Potomac River, he is, and also in Northern Virginia, which is important because that makes Virginia in play, which it usually is not. That's a red state in play for the Democrats now. One other thing we saw in Maryland in the exit polls among Democrats. Remember, Hillary Clinton has won when it comes to the economy and other mm -hmm. issues, of course, which voters say is the number one issue. Barack Obama now winning on every issue, the economy, health care, mm -hmm. terrorism, yeah. Yeah. all of them. That's got to be a sign for Hillary Clinton because her campaign had, had pointed out and, and tried to make the case she's better on, on you economic can, you issues. You can look down the list of all the exit poll results tonight and pick any one of them as a bad sign for Hillary Clinton because Barack Obama trounced her in these states. And so he won on every issue. He won with every, every demographic because the group was so because big, the yeah. margin was so big. And I think right. that really is the big, the big story out of tonight. I mean, it is not shocking that Barack Obama did well among white men. He got 48 percent of the white men in Georgia. You know, he's won a lot of white states. He's won a lot of red states that have majority right. white populations. Okay. And so, yeah, he got 55 percent there tonight in Virginia. But that's it's not the headline. The headline is the margin of the victory overall. And okay, also, Maryland is a reliable Democratic base state in a mm -hmm. lot of ways. I mean, with and and and, and to he be trounced won union households right, in Maryland for he for, for Hillary Clinton to be trounced in that way yes. with that sort of margin right. in a state like Maryland That's the big has story. got to be That's a big real story. blow. Yeah. Okay, well campaign. let's look forward Texas and Ohio and the demographics in those states. Doesn't she still have an advantage, in particular in Texas, uh, where there is, uh, as we heard earlier, about 25 percent of the voting electorate is Hispanic? Mm -hmm. She still wins two to, wins two to one. Problem among is, Hispanics. But problem not, is he's got tonight, 20, you got 20 percent is African American or something like that, and he's winning that 90 percent, 85 percent, and she's not winning the Hispanic vote any more than two to one at best, and not even that much now. And so then you get into the white vote. I think uh, I would still bet on her in Texas, but it's much more of a problem right now after looking at what happened in Virginia. Yeah. Well, if, he appears yeah. to have won the Latino vote tonight, although it wasn't. It was uh, so the, small. The, to, it was hard for right, us to tell. Right. It's, right. I mean, it's been re. re Justin now it's something yeah. like uh, 53 47 or something like that not 55 them up there 45 in our, our neck of the woods are illegal my friend <laughs> they weren't voting <laughs> well no there's actually, there's actually a or large were, there's we're actually a large legal <laughs> latino population in northern virginia especially and in other parts of virginia <laughs> that yeah, seems to have voted for <laughs> obama over clinton in texas what we're looking at we've got <laughs> 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 if we're looking at similar numbers of, of African Americans and Latinos voting in Texas. And they're not that different in terms of the proportions that vote in the Democratic primary. And Barack Obama, as you mentioned, has locked up a much bigger proportion of the African American vote than Hillary Clinton has locked up the Latino vote. Then numerically, the way you do the algebra, he wins. And great point because as Chuck Todd said tonight, huge thing because Barack Obama has done so well in these past contests, and he might do well in Wisconsin, Hawaii, Hillary's got to hit about 60%. Mm -hmm. win by 60 percent in these future contests. Can she win by that big uh, of a I margin? Don't, I don't think she can and if we get down to the point where he's ahead in pledge delegates and he is ahead now in raw ahead. vote totals, which I think which Chuck said he is, yes. even if you include Michigan and Florida, how do super delegates take it away from, from Barack, Barack Obama? Obama? 
I, I don't, and, and unless, the only way they could do that, I think, if they got down to the convention and something awful happened and looked like a Barack Obama was a sure exactly. loser. I, exactly. I mean, how does that happen in a party that believes the election was stole from them by the yeah, Supreme no, Court I, in 2000? I, I, I don't think that happened. And I think, but I think Pat is right. I think, um, you know, as we look ahead, it's, uh, Obama clearly has an advantage. He has the, 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 the clearer path to the nomination. And I do not think the superdelegates would take it away. But we don't know what's going to happen. We don't know what's going to happen. We are three surprised weeks is a long time. every week. Right? That's right. Three weeks is a long time happens. between we sit now up and here Texas. And, and we say, gee, didn't Hillary Clinton's quite see campaign, that coming, they need you know? to start drinking so, Red Bull, they need to change their ideas, they need <laughs> yeah. to change their plans, and they need to kick it into high gear or they are going and to lose. They are very yeah. formidable. Yeah. So we will continue to watch. And uh, of course, a big thank you to our panel tonight Eugene Robinson of The Washington Post, Rachel Maddow of MSNBC and Air America, and Pat Robertson of MSNBC. Robertson, thank you. Yeah, <laughs> Hampton Roads. Pat <laughs> Buchanan. That's because I just read the. the, the I know Pat God. Buchanan. God spoke to you there. I know. <laughs> One too many tonight. One too many tonight. All right, tonight, and, uh, thank you for our, our coverage of the Potomac primaries. We will be back here in one week as voters go to the polls in Wisconsin and Hawaii. Stay with MSNBC. It is the place for politics. Good night.